Hello everybody, Agricartel here, and welcome back to Low Tier Trading, the series where I teach you tips and tricks about low tier trading for profit. The reason I have created this series is because most of the trading channels I have seen on YouTube almost exclusively cover unusual trading. While it is true that unusual trading will net you greater profits over a shorter period of time, it is possible to see that same profit with some lower tier trading, with enough patience and knowledge of market trends. If you are just tuning in, I highly recommend watching episode 2 first, which I will link in the description. Today, I will be demonstrating how to use effective pricing and maximize profit margins. Contradictory to the title, pricing is never perfect. In the past, pricing was as simple as selling for higher than what you paid. But with the rise of trading bots, it is now a battle of beating the bot's price. But you don't always need to sell below the bot's price. For example, if the item has spells attached to it, you can sell for more since it will be more desirable. Or, if the item has a desired level number like 1, 100, 42, or 69, then I guarantee there will be a collector who would pay more for it. Of course, there are other factors like paints and themes, but instead of listing every single scenario here, I think you have a good judgment of how certain things can affect the price of your item. A good rule of thumb for pricing is to go about 10% above a bot's price and adjust accordingly. Even though Backpack.tf is full of trading bots, it is still the best tool for pricing out there. You can hover over any item in your backpack and it will show a suggested price for it. But be careful to not fall into a trap that a lot of traders do. The backpack price is not gospel, but it is a great ballpark for price. For example, for most spelled items, you can usually add between 20 to 45 ref to the backpack price. Another great pricing tool is other people. Don't be afraid to go on a trade server just to ask about pricing. There are typically people who would be glad to help out with pricing your item. Just remember, you are not alone in trading. There are a lot of helpful people out there, you just gotta ask. In order to maximize profit, we will need to look at some statistics, particularly sales history. The Steam community market offers these graphs, but I personally like looking at Marketplace.tf's graphs since they tend to be more accurate. These sales stats show what a customer is willing to pay for a certain item, and we can use this to our advantage when pricing our items to ensure we don't underprice. This is also useful when purchasing stock. For example, let's say you are buying some craft hats and one costs 2 ref and the other costs 4 ref. If the 2 ref hat has a median price of 3 ref and the 4 ref hat has a median price of 9 ref, then we should buy the hat that costs 4 ref in order to maximize our profit. Sorry, demo pan. <sighs> Now you've learned the basics to pricing, let's put this knowledge to work. There are many tools and statistics out there to help price items. Backpack.tf pricing and Marketplace.tf sales statistics are very helpful in pricing. In order to maximize profit, these helpful graphs are extremely useful when buying stock and selling product. As always, patience is key. Everything in trading takes time. Rushing through pricing never has a beneficial outcome. Most importantly, don't be afraid to ask your fellow traders for help. You are not alone in this. So, to sum all of this up, pricing takes research in order to maximize profit. We have learned about tools like backpack pricing and sales statistics and how to use them in order to effectively maximize our profit. You may ask, what happens now? Well, there are a few options. You can either pocket the profit and buy something nice with it, or you can invest the profit into more stock and keep trading. Whatever you choose, you can rest easy knowing that you made money with TF2. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel anything I said was incorrect, then please leave a comment letting me know my mistake. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more in the series, leave a like and a comment, and subscribe to see more awesome TF2 content.